Thanks for joining this lecture. This lecture talks about various OCI sign-in options available. When you sign up for Oracle Cloud Console Access, Oracle creates a user for you in two different identity systems. And you can see these two options during the sign-in process of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. First identity system is IAM, the inbuilt OCI user management system. Second identity system is Oracle's Identity Cloud Service. In short, it is called as IDCS. The same username and password you choose are provisioned in both systems. During the login process, you can notice that these two identity systems options are displayed on the screen. IDCS, Identity Cloud Service, is displayed in the form of single sign-on option. IAM, the inbuilt user management, is displayed in the form of direct sign-in option. During initial sign-up, same user ID and password are created in both identity systems. But important point is, after the users are created, you manage them separately. That is, change in user ID, password in one identity system has no impact on password on other identity system. So let's ask ourselves this basic question that why two identity systems? What is the difference between IAM and IDCS? The inbuilt IAM is only helpful if you want to just access Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Services. IDCS, Identity Cloud Service, helps us to get authenticated with other cloud services as well. For example, you have OIC. Oracle Integrations Cloud. You can use IDCS single sign-on option to sign in to OCI console and then navigate to other Oracle Cloud services without re-authenticating. The key in IDCS is single sign-on. Single sign-on means no re-authentications. This re-authentication is the major difference between IAM versus IDCS. Let me take you to my console and quickly show you these two different options in the console. In the cloud sign-in page, enter your tenant ID. If you notice, there are two options here. One is single sign-on. This is actually driven by IDCS option. This is a direct sign-in. This is uh, from IAM. First, let's log in through single sign-on. If you check this drop-down, you have only one identity provider. Of course, you can create another identity provider such as Microsoft Azure AD that I will create as part of my subsequent lectures. Click on continue. If you notice here, there is something with IDCS separate URL is coming here. Here you enter your user ID and password and click on sign in. Then you are redirected to OCI Cloud Console. If you go to profile option here, you can see your user ID, which is the email ID. Before that, you have identity provider name, Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Let's go to identity and security and go to users here. You see by default, there are two users created. If you look at the user's creation time, the first user that gets created when you sign up is local IAM user. You see the timing here, 328. After this user created, Oracle Cloud infrastructure takes some time to set up your IDCS. That's why you see this user ID creation is 340, which is around 12 minutes after the initial user created in IAM. If you have a bunch of users, you can select based upon the user type, local or IDCS checkbox. If you get into here federation, you have one identity provider added. This is an external identity provider. You don't see IAM here because IAM is an inbuilt user management. This Oracle Identity Cloud Service IDCS is an external identity. If you want to add new identity, yes, of course, you can add it here. So you can copy the IDCS link from here or just click on this. You can see this IDCS console here. If you click on this IDCS console, you would be taken to IDCS interface here. You also have a users. You see, this is a user in IDCS. When this user actually got federated, you are seeing in OCI console under users as identity provider forward slash username. 
Of course, you can create a user here. That user will be synced back to OCI console. Let's do that exercise. I'm not changing any other options. So I can assign groups to this user. Let's say I'm assigning this user as OCI administrator. There are no applications in this. I'm leaving that as blank for now. Now I have two users. Now let's go back to OCI console and see whether this user got synced back here or not. There you go. You see, this user is appearing here. 